Dougie, how are you feeling today, mate? Feeling good, very emotional, uh, fighting back the tears, but um, it's you know it's why we're here. We, we, we can't wait to play our last game. Last game. And how's the players feeling? They're good. They're, 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 they're confident. You know, I said to them, I know it's cliche, but don't play like it's a cup final. It feels like a cup final here, but just play like you're at our Southgate school pitch at home and hopefully the job gets done. Do you feel like the players are coming out today with a big responsibility to go out with a win? It is. I've tried to play it down. Listen, we know we want three points for sure, but um, we want to win. We're, we're on a massive roll, so we want to finish on a high. Last game, what does it mean to you and the club? Listen, we had the, um, the players that passed away, their sons here just now. We presented them with their dad's shirts, so that's what it's all about. Today, our job is done. What happens here on the pitch, all right, we want to win, of course, but the reason we've played football the last three, four, five years is because of those boys. So, um, yeah, we, we want to win for them for sure, and hopefully you know, they can help us get through. John, how are you feeling today, mate? Uh, yeah, good. It's um, strange having an evening kickoff, um, but um, circumstances and uh, of why it is, um, you know, their their last game ever as they're folding. So um, nice to be a part of their of their of their day, really. Are you boys setting up today to go against this team? Um, yeah, pretty much like we have done the last four or five weeks. Um, you know, we're we're on a five match. Um, winning streak, so hopefully we want to continue that, um, take the momentum um, into the rest of the games of the season. Would you say this is this match is like an exhibition match towards your finals? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, so like you say, we've got a semi-final next week and then a final the week after. Um, you know, I suppose it's an audition for the boys to to show that they deserve to be in both of those both of those games. So, um, but it's not going to be easy today. You know, these boys are second, so. You know they're, they're flying. They've crept up there from from, from nowhere, um, but you know obviously merited. So you know it's going to be a tough match tonight. A very warm welcome to Coles Park Stadium, the home of Haringey Borough. This is the Barnet Sunday Football League Division Three fixture between North London Colts and Brotherhood Cossey. Checking in on the two lineups. First of all, North London Colts in the neon green shirts, managed by John Baines. In goal, Stefanos Amflet, a back four of Jamie O'Toole, Aaron McElwee, the captain, Becca Kukua, and Charlie McNally. Daniel and Jason Puzzi, and Daniel Higgins in the midfield. Jamie Clack and Joshua Lamb offering support for the club's all time record goalscorer. Elliot McGovern. On the bench, Brandon Thomas, Daniel Swain, Ross Martin, Connor Thomas and Ryan Adams. Brotherhood Cossey in the grey shirts, managed by Chris Erethu. In goal, Ray Sharp, a back three of Kyle Jordan, Nicholas Orphanidis and Khan Scott Cohen, the captain. The two wing backs, William Hall and Peter Vassilou. In midfield, Chris Erothu and Jediah Wood, along with George Lissanti, and then Jonathan Johnson and Stevie Barnes in attack. On the bench, David Raymond, Danny Unwin, Andy Good, Ricky Green, Chris Socrates, and Luke Gilbert. Today's referee is 16-year-old Jerome Smith. It's a long angled ball over towards the left hand side, missed by William Hall. Joshua Lamb and Hall in a battle of the number sevens. Lamb coming out on top. Just got away from Puzzi. Probably Cossett in the grey shirts winning the free kick. Throwing towards the edge of the box. Speculative. And over the bar by George Lissanti. This is, of course, Brotherhood Cossie's last ever game in their final season in the BSFL. Inside by McNally. Referee plays an advantage. Jason Pusey. He's given it away, though. Jadar Wood. Maybe a chance for the shot from Johnson. He can't keep it down. Johnson, 15 goals in 23 this season. He is their top scorer. Cook you up. Over towards O'Toole. O'Toole in a battle with Vassilou. It's a throw which Vassilou will take. Oh, 
Quicker up. That's a mistake, and maybe a chance here for Stevie Barnes. And the man who has been in scintillating goal scoring form all season has gone and bagged another one. Well, before today's game kicked off, he had 12 goals in 19 appearances. Take that up to 13 in 20 because he latched onto the ball there. He had plenty of work to do from the angle, but he opened up his body and it's a super finish past Amflet. And it's 1-0 to Brotherhood Cossack. Perfect start after just five minutes. Ray Sharp distributing it out to Lasante. Back to Sharp and it's actually gone beyond him and out for a corner. Not quite going to plan. Corner taken short. McNally whips it in. And it's into the back of the nets, and Kukua got the final touch. Becca Kukua has equalised, and they were behind for less than three minutes. Great ball in this from Charlie McNally. He just brushed the head of the attacking player, and it's pushed out by Ray Sharp. And Kukua does the rest with the simplest of tappings. A goal apiece inside the opening 10 minutes. They've won their last four since losing in the Junior Cup semi-final recently. Brotherhood Kossi. Going out on a high. At least they hope they are, but they could be behind here if they're not careful. And that's good goalkeeping. Ray Sharp, razor sharp as he comes out. And denies Elliot McGovern. It's an open and entertaining game in the early stages. Is it? Good foot in from the Santi. Here we cook up his goal, equalising things. Just one loss in their last ten. They won the last five. North London Colts and are looking to get their noses in front. And that's just wide. It was Joshua Lamb darting through the middle. He got beyond the defence. Three games left for North London Colts to save themselves from relegation. It's been a horrible season. Just two wins in the league. It's a good turn from Lamb. Goes down on the edge of the penalty area. Jerome Smith, the young referee, gives a free kick. Right decision too. Jamie Clack. Rather fancies this with the right foot, curling it beyond the wall and beyond the far post. Free kick to Brotherhood Kossi. Floated in and headed wide. It was a good ball in from Carl Jordan. Stevie Barnes with the header. Quick up. Not afraid to build up from the back. North London Colts. Both teams trying to settle down and play football. Lasante, that's a decent looking ball. Cook you up, will mop things up. Charlie McNally. Into the chest of Daniel Puzzi. And a save, which was a decent one as well from Stefano Samflet. along the back line it's been easy on the eye this game so far they're really entertaining Johnson Wood and the ball played back inside to Lasante in goes Wood again it's a good play by North London Colts they've got the ball back Jason Pusey. Edge forward by Daniel Pusey. And in a curling effort over the top of the crossbar from Elliot McGovern. There's a corner. Slung in deep. It's a good ball in. And that was crashed towards goal. Big penalty appeals. And the referee spotted it and gives the penalty. As it comes in, McNally lashes this one towards goal. 
And that strikes the arm of the defender, Orfanides. From the spot. Chance to make it 2-1. Oh, it's been saved. Elliot McGovern. But the rebound is put in by the captain, Aaron McElwee. And it is 2-1. North London Colts, who need this result to help ease their worries against relegations. And it's Aaron McElwick who just tucks the ball in from point blank range to make it 2-1. It's given them something to hold on to, something to build on. towards Johnson played out wide by Vasilou and that's a trip and what's the referee given? he's given a penalty well, the penalties are coming thick and fast as well as the goals flick beyond the defender right on the line wasn't it the foul was spotted the penalty was given Steps. Oh, that's a lovely finish. Right into the corner from Chris Irothu. It's 2 2. They keep cancelling one another out, these two. Straight down the middle towards Lamb. Lashes it towards goal, and McGovern has managed to squeeze it in and finally the all-time record goal scorer does get on the score sheet bundling the ball in at the far post great work this from Joshua Lamb and straight from the kickoff they regain the lead North London Colts ahead by three goals to two and the goals just keep on coming 36 minutes gone five goals have feasted so far it's a good ball in. Headed down by Jonathan Johnson. Gathered by Stefanos Hamflet. And now the break is on. Look at the pace of Joshua Lamb. He's off and running. He's going to take some stopping as well. It's all right foot. Quickly across to deny him. There's George Lasante. In comes the corner. Headed towards goal from McElwee, but it dropped wide. Is his header wide? Higgins winning the throw. Half time whistle, in fact, blows. Very entertaining so far. And North London Colts have edged it in the first half 3 2. Reverse anything to think to me the back three can't deal with that. Back three could have pressed it, uh, midfield three could have pressed it maybe, but that's gone. It's gone. And you know what? Defence and goalie is the worst position on the pitch for a reason. Because you're the last round defence. So if someone's fucked up elsewhere, you're going to suffer. Okay? Don't worry about us. Don't worry about the forwards not pressing in the midfield. If they haven't pressed, they haven't pressed, deal with that second phase. Three balls, four balls, five balls came uh, through too easy. Wing backs, it's massive out there, I know. It's hard though. They are getting the ball from the defence and playing their right back or right wing back in and Pete doesn't know where to come or go. So I want us to push higher to not give them the opportunity to play that first ball and then the first second phase might not happen. You fucking right. do it again. It could, it could have been, been put to bed. That's well, what I'm it could have been put to bed. Game as well. Listen, that. it could be 6 two, five, seven, two, Hey, well, I'm talking. Fucking hell. Right. Boys. Come on. Come on. We could have we been outside. Yeah? There's some very valid points that have been thrown around here, right? But I don't like the way that we're, we're, we're talking about it, yeah? We talk, we don't fucking argue. All right? We play, okay, yeah, listen. We want to win a game. We do. We, we've been on top, we've been on top, and we've had, our, we've had chances. We haven't taken all of them, all right? We could have been outside right now, all right? But we're not. But look at last week, right? One all at half time. And I said to you, they thought that they were in the game because we allowed them to be in the game. We've done exactly the same today. We've allowed them to be in this game, right? Like last week, go out there in this half, right? And show them that they are not fucking in this game. Alright? 
We're gonna go out there and we're gonna fucking win. And we're gonna fucking win big. Alright? It's there for the taking. All ready to get underway. Cook you up. Round the corner, but away from Orfanides. Cook you up. Wait for his goalkeeper to come. And eventually he does. And flip. Over to Jamie O'Toole on this near side. Straight down the right hand side. It's a good ball as well. It's Leahy. And the substitute nips in to make it 4 2. Chris Leahy latching onto the through ball and he bursts into the box. Too much pace for Khan Scott Cohen. And he manages to squeeze it past the goalkeeper, Ray Sharp. And they've doubled their advantage to 4 2. Johnson is given away. They really want to be giving it away there. And then a foul on the edge of the penalty area by Andy Good. It's low drive. Eluded everyone but the goalkeeper. William Holt. Squeezing it out towards the left hand side. Raymond. Strong challenge coming in from William Hill. Lamb. Tricky. In the end, one poor touch ended up winning him a corner. Here comes the corner. Solid header, and that's number five. And it's a bullet of a header from Jason Pusey. And really now, there is some daylight between these two sides. And the relegation strugglers are well on their way to what would be only their third league victory of the season. They need this, and they're well on their way to getting it. Running to a little spot of trouble there is uh, Scott Cohen. It's uh, straight through the middle. Cossie dealing with it to a fashion. Over towards the right-hand side, and once again, it's Chris Leahy. Gets past the defender. Still Leahy. Wins a corner off of William Holt. 5-2, the home side leading. They do score plenty of goals, Brotherhood Cossie. Don't rule them out just yet. It's the home side that had the tails up. 5-2 up and looking slick coming forward. Chris Leahy has come on and he's offered real pace down this right-hand side. In comes the cross. Deflected and the goalkeeper makes the save. It's going to be a corner. Again, more problems caused by Chris Leahy. This time the corner played short. Towards the near post. Down goes Ray Sharp. And up well. Leahy he again. But there he go. Might not need him. This is Joshua Lamb. Goes for goal. Good save. Lamb. And he's managed to squeeze it in. Joshua Lamb makes it 6 2. And he's been a menace throughout this game. He saw Leahy going down the right-hand side, but my goodness me, that's a great piece of skill to put it through the legs of William Holt. The angle wasn't on his side. Goalkeeper makes a save. It comes off the post and from almost the impossible angle. Somehow, he's managed to steer that header in at the near post to make it 6-2. Well, 
the last five games North London Colts they look like a side playing with confidence confidence that has eluded them for a large chunk of this season and off goes Joshua Lamb again into the penalty area and winning a corner corner push back towards the edge of the penalty area maybe the chance of a breakaway now for Stevie Barnes he's got support ahead of him he's been brought down the referee plays on That's coming in from Lasante but good defending again by North London Colts Turn back into that penalty area and a nice catch from Amflet. Ball down that left hand side and look at the pace again. It's the pace that's causing Brotherhood Cossey all sorts of problems and this should be seven and it is and it's another goal for Chris Leahy. Simple tap it and with 18 minutes gone. They just keep on pulling away. It's 7-2 on 72. Thanks to a goal from the number 11, Chris Leahy. His second goal since coming off the bench. Drop ball, which uh, Cossie have got on with. Towards the penalty area, it's Johnson. Can he make room for the shot? He can, but the shot is blocked. And it was good defending as well. Nice interchange. Off he goes again, Lee. He's on a hat-trick. Does he fancy it? And he's been unselfish. And the goalkeeper makes the save. It was a proper overload there for North London Colts. Take it away down that right hand side. Into the box, one back by Kukua. Throwing given. Still on their front hunt for their first ever silverware, North London Colts, and whilst they are battling against relegation, they have a cup final to look forward to. And the here and now, chance to break away, cook you up. They don't wipe by Daniel Sway. And they're looking for another one here. This could be the hat trick. It's Lee and he plants it into the net, and it's a very good finish. And we're just under two minutes to go. They've got themselves another goal. It's North London Colts eight, Brotherhood costs you two. And again, they've got men left over. Look at the time and space. This man's been deadly since coming on. A second half hat trick. And they've kept on going, Brotherhood Cossie. Plugging away. Looking for a consolation goal late on. Snipped forward by Andy Good. Stevie Barnes involved. It's got out wide again. Needs a good cross. Wasn't a bad cross. Stefano Zanflet was there. And there goes that final whistle. It's a hat-trick in the second half from Chris Leahy. Final score, North London Colts 8, Brotherhood Cossie 2. And still hope for North London Colts that they can stave off relegation. Doggy, how are you feeling? I'm all right. I'm, I'm emotional. The result is obviously not what we wanted, but... I'm emotional about what's happening now. We've kicked our last ball as a club. Um, yeah, it's sad, but obviously happy for what we've done over the last eight years. Big push from the lads and you as well. Scoreline didn't tell all game. Didn't finish the way you wanted, but going home happy. I'm going home happy. I'm going happy, happy for what we've done. Uh, the players' sons were here before the game. That was always what it was going to be about tonight. Fair play to North London Colts, an absolutely brilliant performance from them. Um, I can't see them anything less than winning a league next year. They were brilliant, so well done and thanks to them. Good football for your team. Good playing as well for yourself. We try. We, yeah, 
<laughs> we try and keep the ball, we, you know, it's a big pitch, to be honest. Old boys like us, the last thing we want to play is on the big pitch and chasing younger boys. But as I said, yeah, it was enjoyable. It was. How is your Sunday going to be now? Obviously not waking up on a Sunday. And well, I'll, I'll, I'll stop you there. I am waking up on a Sunday. I'm, I've just finished my referee course and, and I, managed, I refed my first game on Sunday last week. So... Luckily for the wife, I won't be home on Sunday morning still. I'm going to be a referee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sundays you're still in the mood, still out there, yeah, still playing, yeah. just not playing. Um, your club as a whole, how's the fans, how's the people, how's everyone feeling as well? So, you know, you guys... Yeah, we, we are a brotherhood. That The team is called Brotherhood. They're all in there now. I said to them, no matter what happens, we've got to be, I want to have the last drink together. We're gonna, we've got a trophy presentation coming up. Um, nights out, you know, I, I'm the type of guy that wants to keep this going socially, even though we're not playing. We still play five aside together every Tuesday night. So yeah, listen, the team's stopping, but I found through football, 25 years playing football, that's where we've made so many friends and my best friends in my life are through football. So yeah, hopefully it will carry on. Love you. It's a pleasure, mate. Thank pleasure you, mate. to meet you, pleasure to speak to you and your team as well. Very good bunch of lads. Cheers. And sorry for the loss. And thank you guys very no much. Worries. Eric. Thanks Anything a lot, else mate. that you'd like to say? No, I love it. Good luck to all the teams in the Barnet League next season. Um, and yeah, hope to see you. I'll be reffing you all soon. Cheers. John. Yes, man. Big win. You guys was not taking any prisoners tonight. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, we're really happy with the with the performance and the result. Um, you know, we I think we started a little bit slow today. Um, <clears throat> they gave us um, a lot of problems. Um, you know, it was close at half time. Um, you know, but I was having a chat with the boys at half time, and I was just telling them, you know, we 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 have a habit of letting people in games, and. Um, I think was, I said to him, like, it's about time we stopped letting these think that they're in a game today. And um, and second half, they just done exactly what I wanted to do. You know, intricate passes, popping it off, one twos, you know, putting it about, and that, you know. But they still cause us trouble, problems in in some areas still. So, but all in all, I think it was a good game and obviously a great result. You felt like sometimes your team didn't come out of maybe third or second gear? Like the way you guys were just moving the ball and playing? Uh, yeah, listen, I mean, like, I suppose it's, it's the same with any, any other team. Like, when the boys can put the ball down and, and, and pick it off and, and play it around, you know, it, it's going to be tricky for, for any opponent. Um, so the boys have, you know, today they've, you know, they, they've just carried on the results and the performances and, and the levels um, over the last five, six weeks. Um, so it's, it's good that they're just keeping the momentum going. When you guys play like that, you guys will cause any problem and it's a big statement to the other teams in the league and the cop as well. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think so. Um, you know, like I said, if, if teams can pop balls around like that, you know, with, with that sort of movement and energy, like, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've got to be confident of, of, of facing anyone right now if we can keep playing like that. Your number seven, Starman. Oh, what yes, a play. He is, what yeah, a play. He's, Tell us about him. Yeah, he's, yeah Josh, Josh is a star find. Um, he, he came to us quite late in the season. Um, but since he's been here, um, you know, it's probably coincided with our with our winning streak. Six games now on the, on the spin winning. Um, but yeah, he's 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 definitely something special. But you know, he, he just creates he creates so much. You know, he obviously he's just so quick. And um, you know, some teams realise that they put a couple of players on him, which frees up someone else. So you know, he, yeah, he's 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 some top player. With a combination of your midfield as well. I mean, your all head in the midfield. Is it Dan number eighteen? Uh, Dan number eighteen. Yeah, yeah. He's, the whole he's, game in the middle, yeah, like a you know, Yeah, I mean, strings. yeah. I call him uh, my Conte. You know, he's everywhere. You know, he's a battler. Um, you know, and, and the level of performances that he's been, he's been putting in have been fucking top notch.